We need a straight line, so let's create a helix and remove its rotation. Set the subdivisions to 3. Bake it down by pressing C. Add it into a cloner. Let's start with 5 lines. Bake it down and add it into a loft. The order in which the splines lay is important, so let's organize it from the middle outwards. Now you can start art directing. Go into point mode and go crazy. By rotating the points you can create interesting curving shapes. Duplicate the mid spline to get a sharp ridge. Look at that perfect dune. Oh, maybe not. Keep moving points around until you're satisfied. Remember that the middle ridge now has two points, so make sure to select both of them. You can add more geometry by going into the loft and adding some subdivisions. Okay, now we have our basic dune. Let's put it into a null and let's subdivide it some more. It's looking a little bit too perfect now, so let's add a displacement modifier. Place it in the group and put it before the subdivision. Let's put some noise into it. Noise makes everything better. Go into the object tab and change the direction to planar. We will keep it at the plus x. Open the fields tab and drag the mid spline into it. Go into layer and change the spline shape into mask. You can play around with the distance here. Now we have full control over where you put the noise, based on the ridge. Let's play around with the noise settings, because right now it looks horrible. I want to try and just jiggle up the edge a bit, and increase the falloff if you need to. Add as many noise displacers you want. You can just duplicate a displacer, and play with different kind of noise. Let's make it into an actual sand dune, made with a sand material. I'm using a wavy sand texture here, to get some more detail into the dunes. The octane displacement is doing most of the heavy lifting here. And there we go, a dune. And now that you have everything set up, it's very easy to just move points around in your camera view. If you want to have more points, just cut your spline up with the knife tool. Since dunes are formed by the wind, let's add some smoke simulations. Select one of your mid splines and create an instance of it. Drop it below the displacers. Place the instance in the sweep. Now we need a profile. Let's add an end side and put it into the sweep. This will be the pyro source for the smoke. You can change where you want to spawn the smoke by changing the start and end growth. If your geometry looks ugly, you might need to add some more interpolation into the spline. Select the sweep and add a vertex map. Go into fields and let's add a shader field. Let's put some good old noise in there. Make it a bit more contrasty. And why not animate it as well? Select the sweep and let's add a pyro emitter on it. Ah yes, the self-igniting dunes. Add the vertex map into the emission map to get some breakup on where the smoke spawns. Add some wind by searching for it, pressing shift C. I can never find it up in the panel. Give it the direction you want the wind to blow, and maybe we need to add some more wind strength. And add a bit of turbulence into that wind as well. If you press ctrl D you can find the simulation settings. Here you can lower the voxel size to get a more detailed smoke simulation. I would recommend increasing the sub steps if you have a lot of wind. We can also go into the emitter and disable the temperature, we don't need it here. And there we have it, a single art-directable dune.